Hi everyone. I just bought a whole bunch of material this morning from a friend of mine and I thought I would show it off and let you guys see what I got. So starting over here on the left I got a little puck of 304 stainless steel maybe about uh, four inches four and a half inches in diameter haven't measured that yet. I got a nice piece of uh, 360 brass this is inch and a half by about 25 inches a couple of pieces of uh, seamless tubing and uh, I've actually got a project in mind for this. I need to build a nice vice stand. I have one right now, but it's really floppy, so I wanted to beef it up. And this is, uh, I think, three and a half with a three-eighths wall, uh, something around there. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll do with that, but uh, it's always nice to have tubing. The friend that I bought this from bought a large machine shop and uh, he's just got a ton of material of all different types and a lot of tool steel because it was a die shop. Uh, so I got a couple of pieces of D2 right here. This is a one inch by half inch and three quarter by half inch. I've also got a piece of W1 that's three quarter by half inch and a nice big piece of uh, M4 tool steel. This is uh, two inch wide by quarter inch. I got a lot of this stuff for my friend Larry who is a blacksmith and I know he's probably going to want to make some knives out of this D2 and uh, I don't know, we'll see. My buddy's got an awful lot of 4140 so I got a whole bunch of that in various size rounds. So I've got some 3 quarter inch, some 1 inch. Um, 4140 is a really tough steel, it's what's called chromoly steel. Um, and a lot of this is already preheat treated so it's still turnable but it's around 30 Rockwell C. Um, they also have some that's annealed. So I've got a couple of rods here that are 4140 annealed and that means that they're just dead soft. They haven't been heat treated. Um, this was uh, some 12 millimeter diameter 4140 so I've got some projects that that would be good for. And then uh, this is 5 eighths. Yeah this is already heat treated as well. Moving along, I got three pieces of stress-proof steel as well. Stress-proof steel is pretty decent to machine and it's already been stress-relieved. So uh, what I mean there is all the rolling that happens to a piece of steel builds up stresses within the crystalline structure. And especially with things like cold rolled steel, uh, when you machine it, you relieve stresses unevenly and it will have a tendency to warp and change shape. So that won't happen with this stuff. I also got a bunch of free machining steel. This is 12L14. The L means that it's got a little bit of lead in it to help it uh, with machinability. Same thing with the 360 brass. It's just got a tiny little bit of lead and it, uh, it makes it machine beautifully. The chips just come off and they break in nice little C's. You never get a bird's nest with them. Uh, it's a fantastic material to work with. But again, it's got lead in it, so don't lick it. Now this piece here, this is the only piece of this that I could dig out, everything else was buried. This is 8620, uh, which is a nice tough steel, it's not too bad to machine. It's a great steel that uh, wears very well and takes a whole lot of abuse. The next one is a piece of 1045 turn ground and polished shafting. I don't have any specific projects for this, but it's a free machining mild steel. It's not hardenable. Uh, you can see it's got a lot of rust on it, but normally when you buy this stuff, uh, you buy it in 20 foot sticks and it's already, uh, as the name says, turned, ground, and polished. So it's a very nice material. It's very accurately sized and round. So you can basically cut the piece to whatever size you need, cut some keyways in it, and you've got a shaft in a very short amount of time. Over here in the back, uh, this is actually a piece of malleable cast iron. Um, again, I don't particularly have a uh, need for it, but uh, uh, I'm sure I'm going to come up with something, so who knows? Stay tuned for future details. The last two pieces I also got for my buddy Larry. Uh, we have a piece of S7. This is half inch by inch and a half or so. Maybe about uh, three feet, a little less than three feet long. Um, and then this is a nice big chunk of D2. Uh, those are both really nice tool steels. S7 is a shockproof steel. 
So you see that uh, used in things like cold chisels and jackhammer bits and things like that. Stuff that's got to take a lot of abuse and a lot of sudden shock. But once it's heat treated, it can really take quite a beating. D2 is a die making steel, so uh, a lot of times die bodies and things that are going to be forming or cutting are made out of D2. It's a little tricky to work and machine. It's a, it's a very tough steel. Once you get it heat treated, it stays put and doesn't wear very much at all, so it's fantastic for tool and die work. Of course, Larry's probably going to make some knives out of it, and uh, hopefully he'll make me one. Let me move the camera and I'll show you the rest of the stuff I got. I got a lot of these bars right here, and these were originally 12 foot sticks. My friend cut them all in half for me so I could put them in my truck. These are all 4140 pre-hardened or heat treated bars. They're all 7 eighths by inch and a half. I got five complete sticks of it, so I've got ten whole pieces right here, all about six feet long. I also got this. Uh, this was a big chunk of 01. He cut that in half as well. I think it was ten feet originally. Um, and this is about an inch and a quarter in diameter, 32 millimeters roughly. Um, I also got this guy. This is a big inch and a half square 4140 uh, heat treated bar. Um, I really like 4140. It's fantastic material. Um, just if you don't have heat treating capabilities in your shop, you can get the pre-hardened version. And it's still machinable and quite tough. And then lastly, I've got some 2 inch by 3 quarter inch 1018 just cold rolled steel. So this is the kind of stuff that you would find uh, at the hardware store. It's just this is a slightly larger size. I'm sure everyone's pretty familiar with 1018. It's a pretty common steel out there. Uh, if you have on your print uh, cold rolled steel and you order that from a supplier, that's pretty much what you're going to get. Now for the gloat portion of this video. He sold me all of this stuff for $260. I got the steel for 30 cents a pound. That piece of brass I showed you earlier, he gave me for 40 bucks, and uh, that would have been about $120 uh, in brass just in the, the market rate right now. So $260 out the door, and I've got more material that I'm going to use in probably a lifetime. Now, if you're interested in material, he's actually got a lot more of it. Uh, he's got a lot of tool steels. He had about 150 of these uh, 4140 rectangles, um, and he was selling them for 15 bucks at 30 cents a pound. So uh, that's a lot of steel for not much money. If you happen to be in central Illinois, or if you're going to be passing through there, drop me an email. I've got my email in the About section on my channel page, and uh, I'll hook you up with this contact information. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.